Aaron Till is no joke. He's young, he's dangerous, he's undefeated, and he's got just that look about him like a real potential prospect. Ladies and gentlemen, a superstar in the making, Darren Till. What point do I get to and say I'm the greatest ever? Will I ever be satisfied? No, I just want people to remember my name. That's what I want. And no one's gonna stop me. I'm a very proud Liverpoolian, little scouser. I'm very proud of my city. We're a good boxing city, so we've got a lot of good boxers who've been world champions, you know, European champions, but with regards to MMA, we've never had no one in Liverpool who's actually broke through in the UFC and, you know, got to, like, uh, title talks and main event slots. Like, I'm the first scouser to main event at UFC. Quite, you know, quite a historic, proud moment for myself. So, yeah, like, I feel I'm carrying the hopes of the city and everyone's, everyone's getting behind me. Have we got a show lined up for you today, UFC Gadans? The main man is in the studio, Darren Till, baby! Whoa, what's that, then? <laughs> Listen, you're here because in a couple of weeks, we're all off to Gadans, mate. We're all yeah. on the old uh, fun bus for a little bit of Gadans loving. That's yeah, mate. Boy, yeah. Of course. Have you had that moment, even it might have been on your own, or where you've caught, kind of thought, holy shit, I'm fighting cowboys. Yeah, yeah, you know, I have, really. Like, <laughs> I'm not looking at him like he's someone higher than me or whatever. I don't look at no one like that, like, you know. But yeah, I've sat back and I've went, wow, man, main event, fucking Donald Cerrone, you know, where, what's gonna happen after I knock him clean out, like? I've seen you, you've got a bit of chat about you in them situations, you of know course. what I mean? You had to get inside the mind of your yeah, opponent. Yeah. Do me a favor, because the microphones will be on you, be top of the bill, everybody will be all over you, right? Okay. Will you call him a shit house? A shit house. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking shit house. That's it. Your proper <laughs> scouse put down. Ultimate is scouse put down. You won't understand it either. No, like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right now, I can see myself running through Donald Cerrone and then running through the next one and running through until they say, yeah, that fight's there for, you know, whoever the champ is, if it's tired or if it's someone else. And that's it, mate. That's that's the biggest build-up. I will build a fight up. Everyone will watch that fight, and I will win that title. I know it. I know it. Listen to my words. I know it. <laughs> Listen, man. Much appreciated. Thank Sound you. Brother. Thank you so it's much for good. coming in. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, He's been known around his home city for a long time as being a kid with exciting potential. Um, but, of course, then he moved over to Brazil and, we, and his MMA career blossomed actually over in Brazil rather than here in the UK. So a lot of UK fans have never heard of him before. But to get this opportunity so soon, it's phenomenal, you know, because we need the next generation of stars. We, we all hope that Michael Bisman becoming UFC champion would be the catalyst towards a whole generation of British fighters competing for, for honours in the UFC and headlining events. We're desperately in need of this next generation to come through and from the looks of things, Darren Till's at the front of it. I'm not taking it, it's a video, kid. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> Set. Time, let's go. Strong as you can. <laughs> Lots of input. 20 seconds, work on finishing. And again, and again, and again. Breathe. This is his big fight, Cowboys. He's a fighter's fighter, he's a coach's fighter, he's a fan's fighter. It's a good step up. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so far, Darren's been fighting legitimate European prospects, and he hasn't had to step out of first or second gear. He's barely gone to second gear on some fights. That's no disrespect to his opponents. That's because of his ability. <laughs> so I think the problems that Cowboy's going to bring are going to bring new things from Darren. I'm going to see a new evolve there. I think he'll adapt with in the fight, and I'm really looking forward to see how he handles. And I think I think he's really going to shine. Good shot. Today we're working basically on Darren finishing the fight. Finish your shot. Yeah. <laughs> getting his confidence here, getting his mind to see the actual finish of the fight happening. We've been playing that out. So there's no doubt in his mind that when he puts his shots together, like we've been drilling. Only one outcome, and that's the finish of the fight. I'm ready, aren't I? So he's getting. Repetition. Hard. Repetition. Is Repetition. Ev 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 evolving. You know. When you want to be the greatest, that's what's got to be done. Everything you've done today was loose, was fast, was on target. We only need to connect once. Once. Once with what you've been doing these last couple of weeks. That was beautiful. Well done. Thank you very much. 
you got to respect a guy like Cowboy. He's, he's been around so long. He's fought everyone, you know. He's not scared to fight anyone. You've got to respect a guy with skills like Cowboys. You know, he's, he's a well-rounded MMA fighter, so, you know, at, at the moment, I'm hitting so hard, like, so hard. Any shot that hits Roni really is going to put him into, like, you know, oblivion. He's not going to, he's not going to recover. And then it's just from then on, where will I knock him out, when, how? I will decide everything, everything. Every fight I've had, I dominate. People always end up getting dragged into my fight, my pace. Okay. I will drag Cowboy into it as well. Cowboy is a step up, yeah, he is a step up. He's sixth ranked in the world, you know. But I'm coming to put Cowboy straight out. Light out, that's my goal. I'm so confident. This isn't me being cocky or arrogant. I'm just confident. And if I don't believe in myself, no one's gonna believe in me. So I need to believe in myself. And this is what it takes, you know. I'm fucking killing myself. You know, my face is fucked. I'm tired. I believe in my skills. No one's better than me. He ain't beating me. I was a one-punch combination fighter before I came to Cabo. Now I'm throwing three shots. Good. Them three shots are really powerful. You know, I'm hitting heavyweights. Top Tom's fucking one of the best heavyweights you'll find. I'm hitting them at the shots. What am I going to do to my lightweight? This is me at my tiredest, weakest. What am I going to be like fight night? That was the 13th round, I got stronger. I still have my pace, I still have my breathing. I'm getting stronger. Fuck five rounds. I'll fucking go 10. Let's go. Just, I don't care about him. I don't care about the champ. I'm, be, I'm gonna be the greatest fighter that ever lived. Mark my fucking words. Yes, yeah, Cerrone. Good luck. Oh, God. <laughs> Tasha's going to go there, just sit exactly where Natasha sits. So sit there, yeah. Now? Uh, no, 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 you're going to come through the doors first. Oh, like a big presentation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm coming out for a fight. I'm going to do a little interview, just a little bit of talking about 40, about my fight, about Tasha's win the weekend, and, you know, just chat, innit? Three, two, one, Dolly BBT. But that same weekend, there's another epic clash in store almost 900 miles away in Poland, and the man about to come through our doors is taking part. It's Darren Till. <laughs> you waiting for the ring? <laughs> the I want to do it for the Scousers, I want to do it for everyone, I want to do it for myself, and, you know, just having the support of the city, because the city, when they get behind you, they, they really do get behind you, so... I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm just living in the moment right now. Now, you thought that Darren would suit red. I did, and that's why I asked you what you were. Have a look at that shirt behind you. On yeah. the back. Go on. Have a, have a quick look. Oh, hey, that's yeah. sick. There you go. You've got a new shirt. Oh, that and is that a doesn't get you belter. Going, really. Oh, that's, that's got me going, that yeah. now. <laughs> Since his last two fights, like, you get I've, I've, made an, I've made an effort to, even though the last one was a bit late staying up, but I, I've made an effort to stay up and watch. And when you do know someone, you get that. That yeah. bond where you you, you you feel obliged, you know, to, to to watch and you know to cheer them on, like you said, with scouts. So we always like to get behind them. <laughs> Sroni, you don't look this good. <laughs> I just keep talking shit about them, don't I? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Steve, Gerard, Gerard, can kick the ball 40 yards. <laughs> this is sick, isn't it, lad? Yeah. What, what would you say about an octagon in the middle there? Yeah. Title fight. Nice, big, juicy octagon in the middle. Tyron Woodley comes there. I come there. And we got yourself a show. <laughs> How many people does this hold here? 75? 54,200. <laughs> Can you imagine the Phil Collins in the air tonight? In here? Yeah. Fucking hell, mate, that'd be sick, wouldn't it? It's boss, because, like, uh, when I used to come here when I was a kid with my uncles and that, my uncle used to always take me to the game. 
and uh, you know, you just watch him, and now I'm, I'm here, no one's here, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm looking out to the pitch on my own, I'm looking, there's no one in the stands, and it's just, you know, I'm fighting now on the biggest fight of my life. I'm doing it for the people that come here, I'm doing it for them. Look at that. Look at that. Sick. Let's make the fight now. I want to knock out Donald Cerrone, then I'm going to knock out another two, and then maybe we can bring me and little Tyrone Woodley to this stadium. Big octagon in the middle, set it out full of scouts, and I'll come in and in one round, I'll knock his chin off. What are you, what are you saying? <laughs> That'll be a reality.